Okay. And one other quick topic along these same lines I wanted to touch on was climate change. And that is something that is kind of polarizing. People tend to believe it's either true or it's not true. How can habituation affect our perception and what actions can we take to counteract it? The one promising thing about climate change is, of course, you're right that some people think climate change is the worst threat to humanity, and some people think it's a threat. Nobody likes a flood or extreme heat or wildfire or drought. And what the source of wildfire or drought isn't maybe necessary to specify to emphasize we need to take steps to reduce the harms associated with those things. And there are things we can do that promote resilience, that often command a consensus across political differences on climate change. So people in Texas, some of whom aren't that excited about let's go after climate change, they are pretty concerned about extreme heat. And that's a way forward. I think for all of us to think with respect to climate change, that uh, what we've heard a lot from people might not be true, which might make the people who are most frightened about climate change at least willing to scrutinize the intensity of their fear, even if that is sustained. And I should say, I'm personally very worried about climate change. So I'm going to try to take what I just said uh, to heart for myself. And if you're not worried about climate change, partly because the people you listen to or you're surrounded by aren't, to realize that you might be in a kind of trap and that there are people who think differently, who are also human and in good faith, and to think maybe you should have humility towards your own skepticism. 